Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, you guessed it, we're gonna be talking about more SpongeBob Easter eggs. All of these are really cool, and I took my time looking for them, so you probably haven't seen any of them before. But yeah, let's talk about them. One of the more underrated SpongeBob Season 1 episodes is Culture Shock, an episode all about Squidward organizing a talent show at the Krusty Krab. Near the end of this episode, after loads of terrible acts and performances, it is finally Squidward's turn to perform, and he entertains us with some iconic dance moves. Now, since this episode, Squidward has referenced his groovy moves a few times, but the most notable reference, in my opinion, was in the episode Pat Hart Squid, as when Squidward tries dancing to attract people, at one point, his moves are precisely what he does in Culture Shock. And guess what? In response, the audience throws tomatoes at him, just like they did in that episode. Poor Squidward. Here's a clip. I will now bedazzle your dazzlers with interpretive dance! <laughs> Another classic SpongeBob episode that I loved as a kid was Season 2's Sandy, SpongeBob, and the Worm. This episode was pretty darn epic, with SpongeBob and Sandy teaming up and going on an adventure to find the Alaskan bullworm that has been terrorizing Bikini Bottom. Now in the end, they succeed and manage to lunge the thing off of a cliff, and for a while, it seemed like this would be the last we'd see of the Alaskan bullworm. That is, until the episode My Leg, as during the montage where SpongeBob is trying to purposefully damage Fred's leg, Fred sprinkles salt over his leg, then SpongeBob rings a bell, and the Alaskan bullworm slithers over to Fred. Pretty cool, huh? Here's a clip. That's not the worm, that's his tongue. Oh, this is the tongue, and the whole thing is the worm. RUN FOR YOUR LIFE! <laughs> <laughs> The episode, Appointment TV, has been covered many times on this channel, and that is due to it being full of easter eggs. Like seriously, there is a good 5 to 10 easter eggs in this episode, but today we're just going to focus on one. Back in the Season 3 episode, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 5, Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, and Mermaid Man dress up as the IJSLA, and Sandy dresses up as Miss Appear and wears this costume. Well, she wears the exact same costume eight seasons later in Appointment TV, thus making for an awesome callback or easter egg. Here's a clip. The IJLSA were the most heroic heroes ever! And you had the best lunchbox, too. Once you put on these costumes, their fantastic powers will become yours! And Appear. Now you see her! Now you don't! Does this outfit make me look fat? The International Justice League of Super Acquaintances, a subsidiary of Viacom. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. yes. ah. Thank you, everyone. I love the show. Back in the classic episode, Chocolate with Nuts, SpongeBob and Patrick struggle with their newly founded door-to-door -door chocolate bar business. That is, until they come across this Barnacle Chips billboard, which inspires them to be a little more business savvy. 
Well, it actually inspires them to start lying to people, but yeah. Well, as crazy as it sounds, this billboard has popped up quite a few times over the years as an Easter egg, with its most recent appearance being in the episode, Teacher's Pests. Don't get me wrong, this is totally a really cool Easter egg, but I do find it funny that it's just a simple billboard. Nonetheless, I love classic references like these, so I hope to see it again in the future. Now I'm going to show a clip of the Easter egg with audio, but before I do, I just want to say thank you to everybody for watching today's video. Seriously, I'm Cartoon Cory, and I'll be back again tomorrow with more SpongeBob goodness. More Easter eggs, probably, too. I'm going to do a lot of Easter egg videos this month, so make sure to subscribe. Also, if you comment on this video, I'll respond to your comment. If you're subscribed, I'll especially respond to your comment. It shows me if you're subscribed, so make sure to subscribe. Anyways, though, here's those clips with audio must be something to this selling game that we're just not getting. Other people do it. I mean, look at that. Eat barnacle chips. They're delicious. They are most certainly not delicious, yet they sell millions of bags a day. Well, maybe if they didn't stretch the truth, they wouldn't sell as many. That's it, Patrick. <laughs> what are you? I... This...